Да, важно, да, важно. Um, yeah, I think there's like there's always pressure when you put on the Irish jersey. Um, no matter who you play, in, no matter what the situation, um, we always want to do the jersey proud and the people we, re we represent proud. So, um, like we know, we have to up at a level from from last week. Um, there was aspects of our game that weren't good enough, um, and yeah, you are right. Like it's the last game of the Autumn Nations Cup, but we, we'll look to take a bit of momentum going into next year's Six Nations from this from this performance. Um, yeah, I think we, you know, it's, it's obviously something we're always working on, um, and then certain times you just got to put a little bit more focus onto it. Um, there's always small changes that can make a big difference, you know. Um, and I think last week we went in with a more simplified um, lineup menu and, and just um, focused on execution. Um, and I think it was it was a good result in terms of the lineouts um, in the end and the scrum battle. Uh, Watching it back, I thought we did really well. Um, there was a few calls that maybe didn't go our way, and Georgia probably got us on a couple of scrums. But um, in the majority, I thought we we were, we were looking really good and performing as a unit. So, but again, like this week, Scotland have a great set piece team, um, and it's another challenge for us to to really get stuck into. Were you surprised at the number of scrum penalties that were given last week, or is that something? Can you can they kind of learn from that and try and do something about it this week? Um, Yeah, I mean, look, I think that's probably a bit of the trend at the moment that we've seen from referees where they're looking for less resets um, and they're going straight to, to penalties. Um, I probably don't agree with all of the calls, as naturally a front row wouldn't. Um, but, you know, I, I think in terms of our process and, and the way we went about the scrum last week, I thought it was a, a good step for us in the right direction. Um, and I think at times we showed a good bit of dominance. Yeah, well, I mean, you can you can look, look no further than the side they've picked. They've, they've come with a very big physical team, um, and obviously in the last Six Nations game we played, um, it was a massively physical game. Um, I thought it was a good battle, um, but you know we've improved a lot over that time. We've got a bit more continuity and, and we've jolted a bit more together. But but so have Scotland. So um, look, it's going to be a massive challenge, like it always is against them. Um, but you know, we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Michael. Hey, hey Mario. Um, and you mentioned you've been working a bit with Gary Keegan over the last uh, number of weeks. What's that been like from a player's point of view? Yeah, I mean, it's been good. Um, it's, I mean, something you, you probably hear a lot, um, like trying to find the edge mentally and just to, you know, change things up. And uh, I guess it's good to get another person's sort of insights into to how we're doing in camp and, and sort of some of the things that he's picked up and where we can improve and, and what we're doing well. Um, and individually, like we, we're connecting with him, and and he's just looking at kind of what your your routine is, and and where you can make small small improvements on that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think um, the team stuff we can we'll kind of keep it amongst ourselves, um, and the same same with the personal things. You know, it's it's nothing it's nothing major. It's just kind of small things that he's noticing or areas where we can improve or individually you can improve and ultimately everything that, that you do individually adds up towards a, a better team performance. So I think that's that's probably the main thing that we gain out of it, you know. Yeah, uh, obviously a big day ahead for Eric O'Sullivan. You must be delighted um, for him. What have you seen of his pretty quick rise over the last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, obviously delighted for Eric. Like I've worked closely with him at Ulster and um, he's one of those guys, he's just an incredibly hard worker. Um, And I think, you know, it's been a, it might seem like a quick rise, but I think he, he's had to be patient at times as well. Um, and no doubt having someone like Jack and competing against Jack McGraw over the last couple of seasons has really brought his game on um, in massive strides. And, you know, like I say, he works massively hard during the week and some of the performances he puts in as a, as a front row, the, the engine that he has is, is actually incredible. And um, I think it's massively deserved. Um, in my eyes, it's been a long time coming. 
and I'm just uh, really excited for him to see see how he goes and when he when he runs on and it'll be a massively proud moment for him. Yeah, definitely. Um, like you say, he's, you know, I think he was 25, turned 25 this week. Um, and in terms of like his professional rugby career, he probably started a bit later than most people. And um, But like you say, over the last few years, he's, he's just improved week on week, season on season. And um, like I, I still think, you know, he's obviously realising his, his goal now, but it's, it's just a start for him, really. Um, hopefully he can get many more caps in the future as well. Thanks, Mario. <laughs> I, I definitely need to go to the barbers. <laughs> All right.